everybody. Um, very exciting day for us today. We have with us Lynn Sheriff, Master of Wine. She is the new senior chairman for Five Star Wines, and our team has constructed some questions for you. The first question is, how did you get into wine? Well, my parents were both hoteliers, and I studied hotel keeping. And we had a wonderful banqueting hotel which was owned by a Swiss gentleman. And after a particularly successful banquet, he would open a bottle of something special from his cellar. One of the first of those was Chateau Margaux. Ah, only. Only. <laughs> but I didn't realize the significance of this wine at that particular point. Um, one of the others he, I remember him opening for us was Sassicaia. One of the others that he opened on another occasion was Romani Conti. Oh my gosh. And the other was Dom Perignon. So I suddenly started to think through the fact that although I'd been in the hotel business and myself had studied hotel keeping, that actually wine was more, much more interesting. And I decided to go and study in the world of wine and studied in Stellenbosch first, then in Germany and um, then received a bursary from the French government oh, to spend one year in all the various wine regions of France. And um, the very first wine I tasted, and the very first winery I visited was Chateau Margaux, hence my uh -huh. picture of Dr. Paul Pontaguet, who sadly has passed away, but he was the first person who looked after me on the first day of my first trip to France. Oh, that's such a nice story. Are you ready for your second question? I am. So, what do you like about wine? And what makes you curious about wine? I think the thing I like most about wine is the fact that no two wines are the same. So you've got huge diversity, you've got huge choice from just about every country on the planet. Um, and the fact that you never stop learning is always something new to learn. And so it's never a finished project or a finished wine or a finished experience there's always something always something new to learn about one and i think that's the great fascination for me so the next question is uh, more related to five star wines when judging a wine what is important to consider well i i suppose through you know blind tastings and also practicing and then working on my master of wine exam i kind of found a, a key of six words which for me really summarize what I'm looking for in quality, which is what this book uh, on five, five star wines and the competition itself is all about. And those six letters, if you like, are B for balance, L for length, I for intensity, C for complexity, T for texture, and S for structure. So blitz, if you like, it's very easy to, to remember. And so what I'm gonna be asking my fellow judges to do is to consider those six points when they're searching for the best in quality, which is what goes into the five star wine sport. question is it's not I guess it's from my millennial staff members here um, can you tell us about your tattoos <laughs> um, I thought that might come up actually this one is a Japanese tattoo and it, the, the meaning do you is, speak Japanese a little bit yeah um, the meaning is Tokyo like Tokyo just with a D and it means bold brave courageous and daring and this one is possibly a little bit closer to home. Um, it's a word that comes from the vocabulary of Nelson Mandela after his release and his, his um, interactive skills. And this really, it's Ubuntu and it means in Kosa, his native language. Um, the collective is more important than the individual. And that's why it's so great to be part of a really dynamic five star wise team.
to um, have add another question for you. Uh, not a question, but can you just give us all of your accomplishments, um, where you are today in terms of your wine career? Gosh. <laughs> okay. We uh, may need a lot of time for this. <laughs> Um, what, uh, well, I suppose if I just talk about the wine part, which is, which is where I found my, I think my, my place, was studying winemaking in Stellenbosch and then um, moving on to Germany where I studied for another three years. It's actually quite a long training process, I have to say. And then four years later, receiving the French government bursary to spend all this time in these fabulous wine regions. And at that time, I passed an exam in South Africa called the Cape Wine Master. And I knew that there was a qualification that had originated in Britain called the Masters of Wine. And at that time, it was not open to anybody outside of When Britain. was that? What? When I first heard about the Masters of Wine, I think in around 1982, 83. And at that time, you had to be a member of the British wine trade or oh, you couldn't sit the exam. And I thought one day they'll be smart enough to open it to people outside Britain, which of course they did. And the very first non-British master of was actually Michael Yell Smith, mm -hmm. whom I'm sure you know from yes. Australia. He became the first non-British person in 1988 and it was opened up to people outside of the wine world. And I was very fortunate enough to um, become a master of wine in 1993 after a huge amount of work. Um, and How many years did it take you? That's always the question. Yeah, right? I passed, I was lucky. I passed my theory the first time around and my practical the second time. So there was a period of three years. Um, and then I was fortunate enough to be voted in as the um, chairman of the Institute. And what you had to do at that point was two years as deputy vice chairman, two years as vice chairman, and two years as, as chairman. So, so six years in total. Six years in total. At the institute. Exactly. One became almost institutionalized. Right. <laughs> and, um, and then I was fortunate enough to work with uh, a great team uh, in Italy to bring the first ever Italian uh, Master Wine Symposium to Firenze. All right. And um, that was a wonderful, wonderful experience. Um, yeah, I think those were some of the great, okay. the great bits of Thank you so career. much. Great yeah. honor, and we are all looking forward to working with you. As I am too, Stevie. Thank you. Great. Chin-chin, everybody. And that's ah. a close.